Okay, keeping in mind that I've still got the original geo that we have skinned, so now we have three objects. Uh, this is uh, the unwrapped ZBrush version of the mesh, which is this one. We have the original one that we sliced up, and then we have the skin version with no UVs. So the difference between these two objects now is that uh, this one actually has been triangulated. So I had a few uh, five-sided faces in this model uh, originally, so let's see if we can find one of those. Um, I can use to find five-sided faces in Maya. We can go mesh, uh, clean up, and then we just want to find faces with more than four sides. So if I'm resetting this, we just have to make sure we select and we go faces with more than four sides. Uh, there we go. And we can see that I've just got a few polys here, which uh, when I skinned it, I didn't actually bother to put a triangle in there. And these are fine in Maya and uh, they don't, they're not massive deals. You can see I haven't got too many of them. But uh, it just means that our mesh is now different because in this version here, uh, ZBrush is actually triangulated those areas uh, to make the thing work. So um, these are actually different meshes now. They have a different, slightly different topology, but we can just copy uh, the UVs on still because the vertices are still the same numbers and still in the same place. So to transfer UVs, I'll just close all this down, uh, we can just select that one to this one we wanna go. And uh, now we just have to go into mesh and then transfer attributes. Now, if I'm going to reset the settings, all we really have to change is this to either local or topology. I believe either of these will work in this case. So let's just go local for starters. And you can see that that's now uh, put the UVs off this guy and put them onto this guy uh, here with our uh, five-sided faces. So that's how we do that. We can now delete history. And we can potentially delete the unwrapped mesh because we don't need that anymore. So <coughs> that's really the first step of uh, how to, now we've actually got UVs on an object, so if you're doing this before rigging, uh, you could do that, uh, and you'll be actually finished at this point in time, we just put this model back into the zero coordinates and we'd have a fully unwrapped model.